Welcome to uh, Cleveland Clinic Canada and to Maple Leaf HIFU. Uh, we offer prostate cancer treatment here in Toronto. For patients uh, diagnosed with early organ confined prostate cancer, we encourage you to do your research, your investigation, uh, and to look at the options available to you, including HIFU. So HIFU as an option for treating localized prostate cancer carries with it several very distinct advantages. Uh, number one is that HIFU is uh, ambulatory treatment, that is the patient does not require hospitalization, is in and out the same day, feels virtually as well the day after as the day before, and it is uh, very non-invasive. Uh, there are no uh, percutaneous probes, there's no incision, there's no needles. Uh, it is delivered uh, transrectally. The energy flows across the rectal wall in a diffuse way so as not to damage the rectum, focuses in the prostate, and destroys the prostate in a sequenced uh, computer-controlled uh, methodology which treats the whole prostate on an incremental basis. The patient, as I noted, feels completely well afterwards, does require an indwelling urethrocatheter for about two weeks, sometimes longer, but otherwise patient feels totally well the day following uh, with no significant uh, short-term sequelae. The side effects or uh, consequences of HIFU are also minimal, not zero, but minimal, and better tolerated, uh, in my view, than other treatment modalities, including radiation and surgery. The risk of incontinence post HIFU is very low. While HIFU represents a burn injury to the prostate, and so there are some irritative uh, urinary symptoms for the first 90 days, those resolve quickly, and less than one in 50 patients are left with any significant problems with incontinence. This is significantly better than surgery and better than radiation. The other issue of concern to many men with prostate cancer is erectile function. I think that uh, the literature is uh, widely dispersant on numbers. Uh, that's mainly because there's no discrete test for uh, impotence and we have to depend on surveys or questionnaires and accordingly the results vary. I think what can be fairly said is that while all treatments for prostate cancer carry with them some risk of erectile dysfunction post-treatment, of all of them HIFU is the least likely to induce erectile dysfunction, but it is not perfect. Patients who have disease on only one side of the prostate or limited volume disease, we can often do nerve sparing procedures which increase the probability of preserving erectile function. But again, in honesty, one would have to say that there are no guarantees uh, with respect to erectile function uh, simply because it's a complex uh, mechanism that has uh, many uh, factors that uh, reflect or, or, uh, or alter it in the long term.